Kurt Angle kicked off Raw and he was going to announce the main event for SummerSlam but he got interrupted by Braun Roughhouse. He comes to the ring and he says it'll break Brock at SummerSlam. Then Samoa Joe comes out and says that he doesn't fear Lesnar and he doesn't fear Braun. Joe tells Angle he needs to give the beast to him. Then Roman Reigns comes out and talks about his accomplishments in the company. Retiring Taker, main eventing Mania, being shit, you know, all the stuff that he's done. Angle books the match for SummerSlam to be a fatal four-way with Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe. Angle leaves and Strowman says all he cares about is piling bodies. Then Reigns tells him to shut up and hits him, like the heel that he is. The three men start to brawl. Joe and Reigns get Strowman over a barricade outside and they start to punch on with each other. But Strowman comes back into the ring and bashes Reigns and Joe. He starts launching security that are trying to break them up. Then the locker room comes out to break up the fight. And Joe has Strowman in a cocaine clutch. Reigns spears Strowman with Joe on his back. And Strowman gets back up and hits a running power slam on Roman. Elias Samson is out before his no DQ match with Finn Balor to sing a song. He has a nice looking new guitar. But his son gets interrupted by Finn's entrance for the 18th week in a row. They have an alright match. As I predicted last week, Wyatt comes out and hits a sister Abigail on Bella, and Samson gets the win on him. After the match, Wyatt done the follow the buzzards over Finn's body. Backstage, Emma's telling Angle that she wants to have chances and that she might start dating Jason Jordan to get noticed. Kurt says he will give her a chance tonight and books her to verse Nia Jax later on. He casts first Enzo Amore again, for some reason. Cass pretty much beat him up the whole match, then got the win with the big boot. Cass goes to keep attacking Enzo after the match, and the Big Show comes out to try and save him, but gets beaten down by Cass also. This is the same spot that happened last week. Nia Jax squashed Emma in under two minutes, and did a front flip on her for the finish. It's better than a shit leg drop, but that's a risky finish. She could kill someone. Backstage, Akira Tozawa is explaining to the announcer girl why he wants another match with Arya Davari. It's because of some shit that happened on 205 Live. Titus comes up behind Tozawa and tells him he got the match cancelled because Tozawa has an injured arm. Tozawa tells Titus he's going to the ring anyway, and he does, but Neville comes out instead of Davari. He talks shit about Tozawa, and they start to fight. Tozawa hits the senton on Neville, but hurts his arm in the process. Then Arya Davari comes out and flattens both Tozawa and Neville with his clothesline finish. Sasha Banks vs Bailey to determine the number one contender for SummerSlam, and Alexa Bliss came out to be on commentary. The match was alright. The finish was weird. Sasha hit a frog splash and got a two count, then Bailey just flipped the pin over and pinned Sasha. Jason Jordan vs Kurt Hawkins in his Raw debut, he beat him pretty quick and hit a neck breaker for the finish. The Revival come out and say that they're the best tag team on the planet, then Gallows and Anderson come out and call them nerds so they have a match. It was a good match. The Hardys came out on the ramp during the match, distracting Dash and Scott. Instead of taking advantage, Gallows and Anderson just threw them out of the ring and talked shit to the Hardys from inside the ring. Gallows got pushed out of the ring and Anderson was hit with the Shadow Machine and the Revival won. After the match the Hardys went to the ring and beat up the Revival a little. Jeff went to hit a Swanton but they escaped. Time for the main event handicap match with Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose versus Demise Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. The match wasn't bad and the finish was Rollins hitting a springboard knee to the Miz and him turning into a Dirty Deeds by Ambrose for the three count. After the match Rollins hugs Dean and Dean hugs him back for a second. Then Rollins put his arm out shield style in the middle of the ring, but Ambrose just left. Well, we'll see you next week for the next Rush Draw review. Uh, uh.